Hey, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to another video. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about a recorder that is available in the dev tools, Chrome dev tools. So basically this is a record and replay uh, where you can uh, set up users flow. You can automate, I mean, you can record and you can replay them. So this might be a use case for like a data creation on daily basis for your test case uh, execution, right? So you, for example, you want to create multiple tickets, right? So it is a kind of a repeated uh, user flow. You can record and you can replay them. Okay. So this is available uh, from the version uh, 97. I mean, this feature is available from the Chrome 97. And if you have any feedback, no, you can you can share the feedback to the Google team. So they will definitely will acknowledge and if it is a uh, if it is a valid feature or it is a reasonable one. So they get, they will acknowledge and they can work on those uh, features. Okay, if you have anything, you can share with here feedback. Okay, so if, if you go to the dev tools, um, so in the dev tools you can see this recorder. So first time if you're not seeing this one, so just go to the more tools. So here you will find this uh, recorder options. So if not, then you can directly go to the command. So here also you can just type recorder. So you can see this is a show recorder. Okay, so when you add this, this will come. Okay, so this is how we will bring this recorder tab in the dev tools. So now you can go for a start recording. Okay, so you have to provide some name. So I'm just giving us a text. Okay, so the next step, you have to click on the start recording. So now I'm going to log in and the logout from this website. Okay, so I'm just typing the username and typing the password and clicking on login button. You can see in the bottom uh, all the actions that we are doing on the browser is uh, getting recorded. Okay, so after this, I'm clicking on the uh, profile button and I'm doing the login. So once this is done, uh, you can end the recording. Okay, so now if you see the steps that we have performed in the browser, so we we are I mean we are already in the page, right? So that has taken us a URL and we are clicking on the login button and we are passing the username, password, and clicking on the login button. And again, the new window opens once you logged in. So that is a URL. And we are clicking on the, uh, the profile button and we are clicking on the logout, right? So if you see here, so we have recorded and we can replay them, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to replay this. I'm just clicking on the replay button here. So now you can see it is, is happening. I mean, the execution has started. Okay, so some issues with the script. So you can see here. Okay, this one is dot failed. So basically, you can you can add step and you can remove step or you can do the customization. Okay, so you can edit the user flows. And when you go for an edit step, so basically, uh, this is these are the elements. So if you go here and if you see the first element so what what basis it is taking the locator and all so the first step it is click so click is nothing the username right so that username it is taking as a css selector id okay this is basically id when you come to the selectors i mean css selector we have to put this uh, put this as right so additionally if you want to multiple locator also it will work fine okay so similarly if you want to add frame if you set some time or time at all come later so we are clicking on this button and by using this change, right? So we are using this change in a sense like SN keys, right? So we are typing the value as an admin. So after this, um, this is not required, just key down and the key up. And this is a password, right? So in the password also, we are putting this value. So look like this key down and up is not required. So if you feel no, it is. I mean, it's just recording the mouse actions and keyboard actions also. So even you can you can remove the steps and you can add the step if you want. Okay. So the next thing is uh, when you click on the login button. So we are clicking the login button. Okay. So that is a selector here, and it is redirecting to this URL. Okay. And we are clicking on the logout button. So now I will replay this.
yeah even now also we are getting some issue here <clears throat> so it is looking for a change uh, to this particular window so look like so next step also doing the same thing so what we can do we can remove this step also i mean it's a kind of like a trial and error so you have to try okay it's out there now yeah it is logging in now Yeah, now we can see the login button, may logout button is, the profile button is clicked and the logout happens successfully, right? So if you see this, all the flow are success, there are no failures, right? So we have removed some step, unwanted step, you can remove them. So if at all, if you want to add some step more, you can manually add this one also. Okay, so when you put an add, uh, for example, wait for element, or if you want to click the element, you can, you can use like this. So now I will remove this. So as soon as I log in, no, I, I just want to wait for this particular element. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add before step and wait for this element. So the element is, this is my element, right? So what I will do, I will copy this element and I can add one more selector. So when you click on plus, you can put one more selector. So this is a basically ID. So after logging, I just want to wait the profile icon to be displayed. Okay. So I'm just waiting for this element. So like this, you can add the steps and you can remove the steps. Uh, if you want to put some timeout also, no? so you can put the timeout. So by default, uh, if you see here, when you go for this uh, replay settings, so by default, the timeout is uh, uh, 5,000 milliseconds. Okay, so for example, before it's throw error, it will wait for, uh, I mean, uh, like what we have in the implicit fight, right? So if, if you want to run in the, uh, some, some with the delay, like a throttling, Right, so you can run with a slow 3G and fast 3G also. Okay, so these options we have, and if you see this uh, remove step already we have sent, you can modify the step, you can add your step, and you can share the workflows. Right, so if you come here, you can see uh, the export and import options are available. Okay, when you export this one, okay, you can export them. So when you export them, uh, you can see here it will it will go as a export as a JSON file. Okay, and it will be exported as a puppeteer script, which is given by the Google itself. Okay, and you can import the same also. So when you import, no, it will be a JSON file. So it will be using again puppeteer library. Okay, and the recorder selectors, right? So what the, what these selectors and all, right? So when you when you expand this clip, you can see there is a selectors, right? So this selectors mechanism, uh, they are going with the uh, this is the order, okay? So it will look for test ID, everything. So most of the time, they are just going with the CSS selector. ID is the best combination. So that's the reason they are going with these options, okay? And here, this select attribute is, again, <clears throat> uh, for example, demo page, the demo automate attribute is selected, start new account. Okay, they are just giving the attribute, selector attribute, okay? so. That, that's all about this. So you can edit and you can modify them. Okay, so now we have added this uh, wait for element, right? So you can you can increase the time also. So now again, we'll go for a replay. Yeah, this is also working fine, right? So the logout happens successfully and everything is passed. You can see everything is coming under green color. Right? And now to change to uh, blue color, still uh, the execution is completed. Right? So when it will be helpful, uh, it is similar to some other extensions that we use for record and replay. Um, so similarly, if you have any use case, so for example, I want to create multiple uh, user entry or ticket creation system. Right? So you can create them and you can run. Uh, if you know JavaScript, then we can export this one and you can run it in the multiple iteration also. Okay, so that is all art, uh, all about the uh, this uh, dev tool, Chrome dev tool record and replay. Okay, and this is a selector priority. So they basically they are using as a CSS selector. Okay, either you can you can put the uh, X path also. I think X path also it must work. Uh, ID attribute they are taking and the regular CSS selectors. So let's uh, try with some. X path here. So now the welcome is ID. So I'm going to write the X path here. Let's see that is working fine or not. Uh, 
sorry, ID equal to okay. So I have modified as the selector as the X bar. Okay, so now let's run this and see if it is working fine or not. Yeah, X path also working, right? So for this profile icon, I have modified as the X path. So X path also working fine. Okay. So that's all about, uh, likewise, you can create multiple uh, recorders. So this is one of the recorders. So if you want to create one more thing, then you can go for one more thing. So I, I'm going for a test one. Right. So when you do this, so this will be also recorded. I mean, you can have this now, like a, we have two records. And if you want to delete them, you can delete them. Okay. So this is the only one record which I will create it now. And you can run this. Okay. So this is what the quick video about the uh, record recorder option that available in the Chrome Dev Tools, which will record and play back the your user flows. Okay. So this will help you uh, for the use case. Uh, if you have anything like a data creation or something like that, you can use for this. Okay. That's all about this video. Thank you, guys.